I'm Eva Mori Martino of Lifestyle and Motherhood blog Happily Ever After. And today I wanted to share with you guys a clean beauty makeup tutorial <laughs> for just a really easy fresh face that is all chemical free. I am currently almost five months pregnant with my third baby. And um, I've been really researching clean beauty brands that are also performance. Um, so I was talking to the brand Ilia. Um, they said that they would send me some products. So a lot of the product that uh, you see today is sent from them. And then I have just like one or two other things mixed in that I've been using previously, but this is really a fully clean beauty entire face. Um, so that's really exciting because I haven't really done that before. Um, and I know it, Matt, I know a lot of people really care about switching to clean beauty when they're pregnant. So I thought it would be a really good time to kind of test it out. Um, right now I have these chlorine eye patches on, which are hopefully helping me feel a little bit more human. <laughs> um, and so I will end up taking those off. I'll just, you know, I'm going to do my eye makeup, my, um, yeah, my eye makeup while they're on and then we will go from there. Um, but I'm excited to show you this and to kind of do it myself as well. This is the first time I'm using a lot of these products. So this is like a blind test for me as well. Um, so first up, we have a primer. This is called True Skin Radiant Priming Serum, Firming and Smoothing. Um, so there's that. I am not normally a fan of primer, actually. Um, it's not always my favorite beauty product, and oftentimes it's the most expensive, so um, <laughs> that ends up working out for me. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on. Ooh, it's kind of, so I'm putting some of it on my hand. It's a little bit iridescent. Can you see that? Which is sort of exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and do this prep my skin. My skin is just has a moisturizer on it and uh, it's clean, obviously. I like this. It's very, it feels very light on the skin and almost feels like it soaks up right away and it feels like it's leaving a really matte finish. Um, so, hmm, <laughs> I like this so far. Okay, so primer is on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eye makeup. So one of the first things I noticed when I took this out of the bag, and again, this is going to be a really super natural look. I'm not going to go too dramatic with this. Um, this is the most beautiful palette. So I don't know if you can see the packaging. Look at this. <laughs> look at those colors. So this is called the Cool Nude Eyeshadow Palette. And again, I'm, look, you can tell it has not been used. Um, I'm discovering this along with you. So that's kind of fun for me. Um, okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and use this really light color called Infinity. So one of the things that this brand was telling me is that they're very, their performance and performance makeup in the clean beauty space is actually pretty hard, in my opinion. Um, during my first pregnancy, I really switched to all clean, clean skincare, clean beauty. Um, I didn't have my blog at that time, so I wasn't having to do like performance photo shoots <laughs> as, as often as I do now. And I will say that at that time, which was six years ago, the clean beauty space had a long way to go. Let's just put it that way. Um, at least the brands that I was finding. So I kind of gave it up. And now I'm finding that there's a lot more, you know, technology out in all arenas. And um, so that's been helping a lot with that. Okay, so here we go. Here's another, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this purplish color. By the way, I'm really excited by this palette because I have hazel eyes, I don't know if you can tell. And so tones like this really bring out the green in my eyes, which um, I'm, always, I'm always for, I'm always here for. So I'm gonna take this lighter purplish color and just 
do my lid. Hmm. One of the things I like about doing makeup on with an eye patch is it, an eye patch, an under eye patch, is that it gives you the ability to not get excess eye makeup. Although I don't find this to be too crumbly. I'm really liking the quality of this eyeshadow. Hmm. So there's a little bit of depth. Now I'm gonna go and take this shimmery color right there, which is called Undo. Hmm. I'm just gonna take it actually with my finger. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right in the middle of my eye, eyelid. Add a little dimension there. Okay, now I'm gonna create some depth in the crease. And I'm gonna do that with a slightly darker color. So this color, yeah, right here, I think is gonna be more low key for daytime. So this is called Teardrop. And I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. Just put it right in my crease in the outer corner, I'm gonna blend it. Again, this is not meant to be like a dramatic evening look, though I'm noticing that these shades are super pigmented, which is great, which means you can layer them and create a more dramatic look if you so desire. Okay, now I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this all. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Um, now mascara. Okay, this mascara is called uh, After Midnight is the color. This is also Ilya. And here is what the brush looks like, which I like. It's pretty thin, which I'm a fan of thin brushes. Um, so I'm gonna pull my eyelashes as I always do. I really like this mascara, it's very pretty. Take these patches off and then do the under eyes. So I'm going to take this light pink and kind of a pink purple, kind of mix it with those two that I use on my eye. Just going to do a little bit of a 
bottom. Not too much, just a little. Okay. So now I have to do my actual face color <laughs> foundation. Um, okay, so I was trying to determine which one is better for me right now. There's two colors, but this is, I guess, one of their hero products. It's the True Skin Serum Foundation Lightweight and Smoothing Aloe Infused. So it says shake before use. Not a rule breaker, what can I say? <laughs> so I'm sh shook it up. Um, ooh, hello, there we go. Um, okay, so here we go, let's try it out. Ooh, it's very liquidy, so this is kind of the consistency, you can see it's dripping. So I, instead of putting this right on my face, I actually might put it on my hand first. It's a serum foundation, so. I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty lightweight, but buildable. Ooh, it feels good. Ooh. It's very light weight and very hmm, creamy, kind of. I do have their primer on under this, so I don't know. I'd be curious to see what it feels like without the primer. This is very... So, you know, what I'm noticing, you can see this is it. This is the finish of it on my hand. It's really light. This is not in any way full coverage. Um, this is really for people who want a more lightweight coverage. I haven't done the concealer yet. I like the skin finish though. The finish on my skin feels nice i definitely need to cover up redness though um but i think this is i bet you this is really good for skin that is a little bit more dehydrated or going into the winter okay here's my concealer this is this by the way this is also ilia this is True Skin Serum Concealer. The color is Chicory. This other color, by the way, was Mallorca, and it has SPF 15. This is Chicory. So I'm putting my concealer where I normally do. Okay, that's what the concealer, again, it's very light weight. So if that is your thing, then this is great for you. <laughs> um, I think for daytime, it's really perfect. So I, I, I just have to do my brows a little bit because I'm a brow kind of girl. This is just benefit, give me brow. This is not, not clean beauty. I'm cheating, I guess, right now. 
but I have to do my brows, especially with lighter makeup. Let me clean my lips off like I always do. And then we're gonna get into some face sculpting and glow. So because I'm going kind of slowly, this is taking a second, but I feel like with this kind of makeup, you could do this really quickly. So this, um, this is a contour stick. <laughs> I'm in that phase of pregnancy where, where contour is really important. This is, um, and actually this is Westman Atelier, which is also a clean beauty brand. It's the Face Trace Contour Stick. So I'm just gonna use this because for me, face contour is important because I'm pregnant and bloated and and that's, we just all need to deal with that. <laughs> this is for everybody's sake. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take a beauty blender and I just kind of blend it in. Contour does not have to be a scary beast. It is so great and just helping shape the face. It doesn't mean you have to look like you have a ton of makeup on. Quite to the contrary, actually. It's just about, it's all about light and dark, shadow and highlight. So now we're creating the shadow that's gonna give us a little bit of depth once I put that cheek color on. Okay, so that's just the depth that we're creating. Shot contour under the chin for me right now. Okay, now, okay, so here are these two Ilia, they're called Color Haze Multi Matte Pigments. I guess you could probably use these all over the face. This one is called Before Today, and this one is called Waking Up. I think I'm gonna go with Before Today for a more rosy. Come, looks like this. So you can kind of get a sense of the color. Um, so I think I'm going to put on my hand first just because it looks really hyper pigmented. Okay, so I'm putting it on my cheekbones. I'm gonna blend this, obviously. Uh, where? Let's see. What am I gonna blend it with? Let's blend it with one of these brushes. Probably also blend this with your finger, but sitting in front of a table of brushes. So. So my cheeks really eat up cheek color. I said this in tutorials before. So I kind of over apply because in the next 10 minutes it will all soak into my skin. But I really like that flush that it's giving me. Okay. And now I'm gonna go in with a little highlight. So here's this little highlight stick. It's called the Stella by Starlight Illuminator. That's what it looks like. So. It's very light. So I'm really going hard with this because it's 
really lightweight. If you're scared of highlighter, this is a highlighter to get because <laughs> it's very controllable. It's also a stick, so it's more, it's, I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit more forgiving than a powder. You can kind of see on my finger. That's what it looks like. Corner of my eyes. Going crazy with the highlighter stick here. Okay. I'm going to put mascara on my bottom lashes, which I did not do before. Now that my concealer is done. I really like this mascara a lot, actually. And I find that Clean Beauty mascara, good ones, are very hard to find. So, I'm impressed. Okay, now for the lip color. I just think this lipstick is so beautiful. It, the color is Wild Rose. Look at how beautiful. I'll swatch it for you guys. Mmm super duper creamy so let's put that on go so here is the finished face <laughs> um, I love it I think it's great for daytime this is like the perfect look for me to do drop off and pick up from school um, I love that it's totally clean so that makes me feel good about my life <laughs> and about my day um, and it feels really nice on the skin. So I think it's a win. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you will get lots of videos and alerts that will tell you when they're live. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.